Good morning, student. Today we are going to study about anticonvulsant drugs. We are studying drugs acting on CNS, in which we have studied general anesthetics, and now we are like we are going to study about anticonvulsant drugs. We have also studied about uh, hypnotic and sedatives, in which barbiturates, benzodiazepine. We have. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, like we have studied about benzodiazepine and barbiturates. Uh, benzodiazepine and barbiturates are also come under anticonvulsant. So, So uh, basically, firstly, we have to know about what is epilepsy or conversion. Conversion in little meaning, uh, we uh, can say conversion is a seizure. If we Hindi, we say that 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 we they are connected to each other. Wo different channels ke through different ion channels ke through current uh, jo hai unme generate ho sakta hai. Ab current generate hone ka kya matlab hai? Ke wo aapko brain ko message pochayenge. They provide a signal. Jab us signal me excessive discharge hoga. Yani ke wo neurons jo hai wo excess discharge of ions karenge. तो उस वजह से क्या होगा हमारे बॉडी हमारे ब्रेन का या फिर हमारे न्यूरॉन का जो करंट फ्लो है एक तरह से अगर हम नॉर्मल भाषा में लेमन भाषा में बोलें तो वो करंट फ्लो जो है वो डिस्टर्ब होगा <coughs> जिसकी वजह से कन्वर्जन होगा ठीक है तो बेसिकली जो एपिलेप्सी है डेट इज अ ग्रीक वर्ड व्हिच मींस एपिलेमिन means sudden possession agar hum normal language mein bolenge to hum bol sakte hain suddenly body ko body jo hai wo possess ho gayi theek hai agar hum ancient time ki baat kare us time pe epilepsy ko in is cheez isse hi joda jata tha ke there is some uh, like unnatural effect on the body ye samjha jata tha to uh, it may be defined as a proximal or sudden self-sustaining and self-limiting uh, cerebral dysrhythmia. Means, your brain is balanced, what is it? It is disturbed. It is characterized by abnormal and excessive EEG means electroencephalograph it is characterized by an abnormal and excessive eeg means electro uh, electroencephalography discharge and by disturbance of consciousness means abnormal discharge of the neurons is uh, uh, occur and which uh, affect the consciousness. It was proposed that the seizure were caused by sudden occasional rapid excessive local electrical that is nervous discharge which originate in a gray matter and spread to other parts of the CNN. Epilepsy or may not uh, epilepsy may or may no, not associated with body movement or hyperactivity of autonomic nervous system, that is ANS. Convulsive state has been observed in the system where the concentration of gamma amino butyric acid, that is GABA in the brain is below certain level. The effect of the GABA is blocked. It was shown that increase in GABA level in substantia nigra above the threshold protects from the season. In epileptic patient, it is observed that there is an accumulation of sodium ions within the cerebral neuron. 
it was shown that increase in the GABA level in substenia nigra above the threshold protect from the seizure. In epileptic patient, it was observed that there is an accumulation of the sodium ion within the cerebral neuron. The conditions where, which result in the seizures include hereditary factors observed in only few types of seizures, seizures due to high temperature, seizure as a result of acute illness like meningitis, seizure as a result of toxic or metabolic disorder. <coughs> Epileptic seizure may be divided into two groups. Uh, generalized seizure or partial seizure. Partial seizure is also called as focal seizure. Generalized seizure is further classified as grand mal seizure or peptic mal seizure. Grand mal seizure is also called as tonic clonic seizures and peptic mal seizure is also called as abscess seizures. Partial seizures is also divided into two types with uh, with elementary symptomatically like jackson motor epilepsy jackson sensory epilepsy with complex symptoms psychomotor seizures Epi now next is what are anti-epileptic drugs so anti-epileptic drug may be defined as the agent that prevent or diminish severity of the convulsive seizures. That is, reduce number and severity of the seizures. The first effective remedy use of bromide, which was introduced in 1857. Bromide is the first drug that is effective to treat for the treatment of the convulsion. It is uh, uh, in 1912, uh, in 1912, phenobarbitone was introduced, which was largely replaced by this uh, drug named as bromide. In modern, <laughs> in modern era, the started with the introduction of other drugs such as hidden toin derivatives. In 1938, the drug which is extensively popular of that era is phenytoin. It was very potent drug which used to <clears throat> which used to treat and uh, which used to treat convulsion and have potent anticonvulsant activity. It does not possess sedative property. This is stimulated the search of uh, search for better drugs in the in the line of the anti uh, anticonvulsant drugs. Now. As a result of this several research, po more potent anticonvulsant drugs are introduced, none of, but none of the anticonvulsant effect is equally effective in all types of seizures. Means there are, uh, there are abundant of drugs present in the market, but these drugs are not able to prevent all type of the seizures. Like one drug is effective for certain type of a seizure or certain type of epilepsy. Hence, the drug therapy is selected on the basis of the type of the seizures and the patient response. Drug of choice for the tonic, clonic, and psychomotor seizures are phenytoin and carbamazepine or sodium valborate. So, in case of the generalized <clears throat> In case of the generalized seizures or grand mal seizures, the, um, the drug of choice include phenytoin, carbamazepine, or sodium valborate. And the drug of choice for the absence seizure is ethosuximide or sodium valborate with clonazepam. Next, for my colleague, um, for my clonic seizures, Sodium valproate is the drug of choice. Next is the classification of anticonvulsant drugs. The uride structure is the most common structure in all the 
in all the anticonvulsant drugs depending upon the r3 group present in the drugs there are the six different classes for the anticonvulsant drugs first includes barbiturates next is hidentoin next is uh, succinamide and the, in case of the barbiturates uh, phenobarbitone and mefobarbital is the drugs and in case of the hidden toin phenytoin methentoin ethentoin these are the examples for the drugs in case of the succinamide ethoxysuccinamide and pen pensuccinamides are the drugs next is the oxa oxa oxalzolidinone in which trimethadone and paramethadones are the drugs next is the glutramide glutramide in case of the glutramide amino glutramide is the drug next is the acyl uride or acyl urease in which phenacetamide uh, is a drug then next is first five classes have a cyclic structures and there are the six acyclic structures also and in case of the miscellaneous benzodiazepines is also uh, is also used for the treatment of seizures in which drug are diazepam clonazepam nitrazepam and next is a dibenzepine derivatives in which drug is carbamazepine next is the hexapyrimidine 4,6 dione in which primidone is the drug next is the carboxylic acid derivative in which sodium valproate is the drug and sulfonamide in case this is acetazolamide is the choice of a drug so in which the first drug include is the phenobarbitone if we talk about the chemistry of phenobarbitone as i mentioned in earlier video also in uh, in video of hypnotic and sedative phenobarbitone is the derivative of barbituric acid and barbituric acid is a cyclic uride diuride or if we talk about the chemical name of the phenobarbitone it is called as hexahydropyrimidine 246 triones in which ethyl and phenyl group are present at c5 now if we talk about in acidic condition it exists as phenol and ketone form which is called as lactam and lactam the enolic hydroxy group dissociate in the aqueous medium to liberate proton phenobarbitone is relatively weak acid but it can easily form salt with alkali hydroxide such as sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide etc so this is the structure of the phenobarbitone phenobarbitone has lipophilic character why it is have lipophilic character because presence of the phenyl and ethyl group present it can easily cross blood brain barrier and penetrate into brain which make it hypnotic and sedative as well as to possess a cns depressant activity it is a long acting barbiturate now next is the physical properties of barbiturates or phenobarbitone which includes it exists in white clintish small uh, small crystalline or white crystalline powder it is odorless and has slightly bitter in taste it may form polymorphism it is very soluble in water and soluble in e uh, alcohol the solution of alkali hydroxide or uh, carbonates is easily soluble in water and alcohol such as ethanol and methanol its sodium salt named as phenobarbitone sodium is white crystalline powder odorless and has bitter taste this salt exists as hygroscopic in nature and very soluble in water next is the storage phenobarbitone is a stable compound therefore therefore it should be stored in tightly closed container and prevent from hygroscope from moisture now next is the uses of phenobarbitone it is used as a sedative in nervous 
uh, in nervous insomnia anxiety state and it is also used for the treatment of convulsant such as grand mal seizures psychomotor seizures then it is also used to treat neonatal jaundice and gilbert syndromes if we talk about the pharmaceutical formation uh, for formulations of phenobarbital it come as tablet capsule elixirs injections and these are few brand names of phenobarbital next drug which comes under uh, barbiturate is mefobarbital which is also termed as methyl mefobarbital or mefobarbital if we look at the structure of the mefobarbital it contain yes it contain methyl group at the posi, uh, at the n1 position this is a methyl group and ethyl and phenyl group is also there so this uh, this is the structure of mefobarbital now if we talk about the physical properties it is white crystalline powder it is odorless and has bitter taste it is slightly soluble in water but insoluble in but soluble in solution of alkali hydroxides and carbonates so in which carbonates and alkali hydroxide it can easily solubilize it can solubilize in sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate so these are the solution in which it can easily solubilize now if we talk about yeah if we talk about the stability it should be stored in well closed container because it is hygroscopic in nature because it is hygroscopic in nature therefore it should be stored in well closed container okay so next is the use it is used for as a strong sedative it is also used for the treatment of convulsant in specific types of convulsant that, such as tonic clonic and absence convulsant it is also used to relieve anxiety tension and apprehensions it and when we talk about for formulations of mefobarbital it comes in the form of the tablet and this is a brand um, these are the brand names for the particular drugs so that's it for today's lecture the uh, these are some of the gifs which possess ke how the convulsion can occur in a human body if we look at this gif and this is a cartoonic image or cartoonic gif how the convulsion is occur like this like uh, this is the uh, typical structure in which your lymphatic system is affect or we can say eyes your le legs and hands can be affected thank you i hope this video is very informational to you we will talk in next lecture about next drugs which uh, comes under conversion